The year was 2001. The Shukla family home in Lucknow buzzed with the excitement of a wedding. Shuban Shu's older sister, Shuchi, was getting married, and the family was absorbed in the celebrations. But as the evening progressed, the 16-year-old Shuban Shu disappeared without a word. Hours passed. His family, especially his father, grew increasingly upset and anxious. Where was their son during one of the most important events in his sister's life? Around 11 p.m., he finally reappeared, riding his bicycle through the night looking visibly exhausted. He dropped his bike, caught his breath and simply asked his concerned family, now tell me what to do. At the time, no one understood. He kept his secret, rejoining the wedding preparations without explaining his absence. The truth only emerged after he cleared the National Defense Academy entrance examination. On the day of his sister's farewell ceremony, Shubhanshu had secretly traveled to take the NDA exam. He was so determined to join the Indian Air Force, inspired by the 1999 Kargil War, that he had even used a friend's money to fill out the application form without his family's knowledge. Shubhanshu Shukla was born on October 10, 1985, in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh. He was the youngest of three siblings, growing up in a middle-class family, headed by his father, a government official, and his mother, a homemaker. He attended the city Montessori school in Lucknow. In 1999, when he was just 14 years old, the Kargil War captured the nation's attention. For young Shukla, it was a turning point that ignited a quiet, intense desire to serve his country. Without telling his family, he began preparing for the National Defense Academy entrance exam. Shukla's determination paid off spectacularly. He graduated from the National Defense Academy in 2005 with a Bachelor of Science degree in Computer Science. This academic foundation was immediately put to the test when he entered the Indian Air Force Academy for flight training. In June 2006, he was commissioned as a flying officer into the fighter stream of the Indian Air Force. Over the next decade and a half, Shukla established himself as a formidable combat leader and seasoned test pilot. He amassed an impressive 2,000 hours of flight experience across a wide array of the Indian Air Force's most advanced and demanding aircraft. Recognizing that modern aviation demanded both flying skills and engineering expertise, he pursued a master's degree in aerospace engineering from the Indian Institute of Science, Bangalore. In 2019, Shukla's career took a dramatic turn when he was handpicked for India's most ambitious space project, the Gaganyaan mission, the country's first human spaceflight program. He was selected alongside three other distinguished pilots, Group Captain Prashant Balkrishnan Nair, Group Captain Ajit Krishnan and Group Captain Angad Pratap. These men would become India's first indigenous astronaut corps, trained to fly aboard Indian spacecraft and represent their nation in the ultimate frontier. Their journey to become a Vyomnaut, the Sanskrit term for a space traveler, was grueling and comprehensive. These four pilots would travel to Russia for training at the legendary Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center in Star City near Moscow, the same facility that had trained Yuri Gagarin, the first human in space, and later prepared Rakesh Sharma, India's first cosmonaut, for his 1984 mission, would now shape India's next generation of space explorers. From 2020 to 2021, he and his fellow candidates underwent basic training, learning the fundamentals of spaceflight from spacecraft operations to survival skills in extreme environments. They endured rigorous simulations, grueling centrifuge runs to prepare for extreme G-forces and complex survival exercises. Gurgan Yan program represented the culmination of decades of technological development and growing national ambition. Indian engineers were developing a three-person spacecraft capable of orbiting Earth for three days, complete with life support systems, navigation computers, and emergency escape mechanisms. The GSLV Mark III rocket, India's most powerful launch vehicle, would carry these astronauts to space. February 27, 2024, brought national recognition. Prime Minister Narendra Modi personally awarded astronaut wings to all four candidates, officially recognizing them as India's astronaut corps. But fate had different plans for Shukla, while his three colleagues continued preparing for the eventual Gaganyaan launch, international opportunity knocked. Axiom Space, a private American company conducting commercial missions to the International Space Station, needed an experienced astronaut with specific qualifications for their fourth mission. Shukla's unique combination of skills, military test pilot experience, Russian space training and ISRO astronaut certification made him an ideal candidate. 
He was ultimately selected for Axiom Mission 4. His selection marked him as the first Indian to visit the International Space Station. The mission was a commercial spaceflight, operated by Axiom in partnership with SpaceX, launching to the International Space Station under NASA's oversight. Shukla's role was that of the pilot, making him the first Indian to ever pilot a spacecraft to the ISS. As second in command, he was responsible for assisting with spacecraft operations during launch, docking, and the return to Earth. His crew was a model of international cooperation. Commander Peggy Whitson, a decorated former NASA astronaut and one of the most experienced space travelers in history. Mission Specialist Swawosz Uznanski of Poland, representing the European Space Agency, and Tibor Kapu representing the Hungarian Space Office. The two-week stay on the International Space Station is anything but a vacation. The crew had a packed schedule carrying out around 60 experiments, more than any Axiom space mission before, with input from 31 countries. Seven of those experiments came from Indian research institutions. The experiments ranged from muscle regeneration studies that could benefit medical treatments on Earth to plant growth investigations that might support future Mars missions. Indian experiments included research on microalgae cultivation and the effects of microgravity on living organisms, studies that might lead to breakthroughs in medicine and farming. After a series of delays due to technical issues and a minor leak on the ISS, the historic day finally arrived. On June 25, 2025, a SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket lifted off from the historic Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Atop the rocket was the Crew Dragon spacecraft, which the crew had named Grace, the fifth and final Crew Dragon to be built. In the viewing area, Shubhanshu's wife Gamna, a dentist whom he had known since they were classmates in primary school, watched with a mixture of pride and nervousness. She described him as the bravest person she knows, a quiet, disciplined man with unwavering focus. Just before the launch, she asked him, How's the Josh? A famous line from an Indian film. His reply was characteristically simple, Hi. On June 26, after a carefully orchestrated journey, the Grace capsule docked with the International Space Station. As Shubhanshu floated through the hatch, he became the first Indian to set foot on the orbiting laboratory. His first message to India was simple and direct. What a ride! This journey of mine is not a beginning to the International Space Station, but to India's human space program. I want all of you to be part of this journey. Regular communications with ground kept the crew connected to Earth. During his first live communication from the station, Shobhanshu described the experience as an amazing feeling to be just floating and explained how he was learning anew like a baby, how to walk, to control yourself and to eat in the completely new environment of microgravity. In his communication with Prime Minister Modi, he said, India appears truly grand from space. Throughout this extraordinary journey, Shubhanshu remained grounded by the support of his family. He acknowledged this in a message before the flight, thanking his family and especially his wife. Without you, none of this was possible. But more importantly, none of this would matter. His story is both deeply personal and profoundly national. His mission marks not an endpoint but a new beginning for Indian space exploration. Future missions may take Indian astronauts to lunar orbit, Mars, or even destinations yet to be imagined. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then please like it and share it with your friends and family. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos ahead.